On this episode of Test Chamber, we're taking a look at Laura Croft Go from Square Enix Montreal. Uh, plays a lot like Hitman Go, obviously the Go series. I'm Andrew Reiner. Jeff Cork's going to be playing today. Hello, sir. Hi there. How are you doing? Good. So that's Laura Croft. She oh, is thanks. a Tomb Raider. Okay. And we're playing on an iPhone. What is that? A 6? Sure. This oh, is your phone. 6 I feel plus? Weird. 5 plus? I don't know what they're called anymore. But... Um, all you do is just flick your finger. So Jeff Cork's just flicking the, re the direction he wants to go. It is a turn-based puzzle game, which might seem weird for Laura Croft and this franchise, but it actually makes a lot of sense. So go click that little pot up there. Mm -hmm. Is there a little secret hidden in the world? Makes the a Tomb Raider secret. sound. Oh, man. He, he okay. got his eyeball. Um, but those are just bonuses. You don't need to collect them, but you can whenever you see them. Like oh, that. man. Yeah. But the goal in every level is to get to the exit. Ultimately, we're going to find out here that Laura is questing for an artifact. Did like I just does. solve the puzzle right there? You did. That was the first puzzle. I'm pretty smart. Uh, oh, but here's a switch, Jeff. Uh-oh. So it starts out very simple. And you just click to do that. Just tap that on the mm -hmm. screen to, to activate it. And there goes Jeff. Oh, but what is he going to do here? I'm going to tap that. Oh, my. Beautiful animation throughout the game. They have some touches to Laura's um, older <gasps> adventures. She does, like, the handstand sometimes. Every once in a while, it seems random. Uh, uh, now how are you going to get over there? She doesn't jump. No. Yeah, that's one up. thing she doesn't do. Never really known for jumping. No. There we go. Nice. I really want to find you that. You are Let's finding go. all the the secrets. Here we go. But the game gets very difficult as it goes along. Like there's just environments you get into, and it's like I have no idea what I'm gonna do here. I hope I don't run into any of those because I don't want to look like a big jerk. The You'll big help snake. Me, right? Oh, the you probably won't here. Okay. So this is the first one that'll probably give you some problems. We'll see. Okay. Maybe you'll be smart enough to figure it out. You got a switch. Mm -hmm. And then two more switches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just looked over at Jeff and he's just looking at him like, hmm. <laughs> so one of those, like, I don't know what these switches do. So Right. Well, like I think the color coding might be. Okay. So you you know there's gonna you need a platform down there to come up, right? Yeah. Or not. There's also Yeah, you probably let's see. That's probably not a super great move. Will that break my fall when I Yes. Okay. So then I can do this one. And then do a little of that. Flick it up. Ba -ba -ba. All right, you did it. Well, we'll see if you accidentally step on that twice. <laughs> Oh god. Ah! What on earth is that? <laughs> so there is a big bad in this game. He's do I get to fight you. it? Yes, you do. How do you fight it? Do you tap? Throwing spears and stuff ah. like that. This seems like a really safe thing to grab. Yeah, so this is like the hub world. Ah. The key of snakes, it says. Yeah. Do you think she just made up that name for it? Yeah. <laughs> or is it in her, like, is it written on it? Reading journal. Like it says that. Has, like, an IKEA UPC sticker. You're going to want to pick up the Kia Snakes. Hmm. Hmm. I would go forward. Would you? Mm -hmm. Oh, she can do some. There's the artifact that we want. Okay. It's the block of snakes. I made that up. Okay, so now we're moving on to the first chapter, or oh. the second chapter. So I beat the game. Yep, so now you see there's more levels. Okay. And we're in the maze of snakes, which is not a good place to be. And all these will, good eye, all these will add different enemies to the mix. I'm going to tap that bug. Nope. It's not a bug tapper, Jeff. Okay. So the snake, you're going to learn. Well, actually, I'll have you okay. just discover it on your own. What? Oh, did I? 
You killed it. Okay. I. Okay. Oh! Oh. Ah, I see. You have to get it from behind, though. Yes. So if you approach a snake from the front, it's going to kill you. Got it. How about from the side? Ah, yep. The side's good. Nice. Do you get anything for killing the snakes, or is it just... Nope. Hmm. There you go. Huh. Oh, one of these. Okay. Hmm. So he's gonna. Okay. Oh. So they have a range of one square. Yeah. That's how that works. Am I gonna have to do all this again? Okay. Good. No. Very good checkpoints, but I mean these these will just get ridiculous after a while here. Yeah. So I'm a. I mean, and if you get stuck, you see that little uh, light bulb in the corner. It'll take you to a store to buy all puzzle solutions for four ninety nine. Oh, that's generous. And it, it tells you like exactly where you need to go and all that stuff. It's just, yeah, it's not great. What are you gonna do? See, I think I'm just gonna... hopefully this will squish him or something. And then, oh, let's go back and get that one, dude. Good snake killing music, right? Yes. I love this. It's like a Wes Anderson film or something, right? Maybe the, yep. Okay. Whoop. You are no. natural. You're natural. Yahoo. Oh, you missed a jar. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, man. They keep asking to rate it. And as a critic, I was like, well, I'm not going to give you. Yeah, you have to. I already to gave you a rating. Read it later. I sent him a big email. <laughs> Please disable this. That seems like a smart move. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Am I going to hop and skip over these things? Mm -hmm. Wait. And you can just stay there? Mm hmm Fun. She's good. Ah. Uh. Uh -huh. Sneaky. What? Because if I go to get that lever, the snake will bite me. Yeah, that day. Hmm. And sometimes you need to keep the snakes alive to push down pressure plates. Oh, okay. But this is not one of those times, right? No. All right, that guy's a... Oh, boy. How am I going to... Oh boy, I have really done it. Actually, no. You, you, if you go down, if you go forward one and then down, if I go forward one now, we'll go down here. No, nope, down there and then down one, and get that guy from the side. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just looking at it incorrectly. All right. And I'm gonna move that back. Uh, no, not that. That one, yeah. Yeah, the other one. There we go. Yeah. Murder them to God, get out. So many dead snakes. That's pretty gross. I think she should just tell them to shoo. Yeah. Now, do you get anything for these relics? Like, you unlock costume pieces? Yep. Or... Costumes. Is, okay. That's exactly what you get. That's... Wow. He's big, isn't he? He's enormous. What are you thinking? That's fun. Okay, so here you go. So now you can see how the board moves as well. Ah. Um, so that blade is going to move every time you move. So then you can do like some back and forth kind of stuff. To yes, exactly. Which you're going to need to do there. Yep. So boom, boom, boom. Freedom. Love it. Nothing can possibly go wrong here. Mm. Oh, wait. Here's my solution. <laughs> I mean, you're probably loaded. You got millions of dollars in gems. You should just get out of here. Yeah. Jeff, look down at the bottom of the pillar. <gasps> Thanks, buddy. Yeah, you got it. 
You should edit that part out. Wait, <laughs> so it looks like I just found it myself. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. All right. Figured everything out myself there. Yeah. It was great. So at this Love. point in the game, it's like, you're feeling good about yourself. I super am. easy. Is this building up to embarrassment? Is that what happens? Well, I mean, it's chapters like three and four where it just... Oh, boy. And it feels like you're going to complete the game quickly, and then it just gets crazy hard. See, I never played Hitman Go. Does this have a very similar vibe? Yeah, but it's it's done better Okay. Uh, than the, the hits in that game and, and navigating the enemy lines and all wow, that stuff. this is the gold mine. Wow. I didn't, how are you doing this? I just looked. Did you make the, this game? I don't want to say it's a conflict of interest. Uh, okay, I'm going to blow it here. I should have paid. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Good. Oh, but, no. But, yeah, you need to get that platform to go up. Okay, here we go. And I think it's four ninety nine on iOS. I think that's the price of it. Nice. So there's no cooldown or anything like that. No. Nope. This is just a game that you Correct. play. Yep. Which is a novel concept, unfortunately. Yep. And then if you want to spend the money or, you know, I recommend going to YouTube. I bet there's videos up of how to solve puzzles. Yeah. If you really get stumped. That, of course, did not happen to you. You were just like in the zone. <laughs> yeah. The music just boom. Bam. Check yep. this out. First try every time. Now, there's ones, uh, dozens of tries sometimes. Like, I'd put it down for a bit. Told Joe, you know, I was like, I'm having some problems on this puzzle. I showed him, and he just kind of walked away. Did mm. not want to have anything to do with it. So you blocked that one off. That That's very good that you did that right there. Okay, so now it's just hanging out. It's hanging. But you that do that a lot good. in the, the harder puzzles. You got to figure out how to trap stuff mm -hmm. to open up different paths. Oof. <laughs> I was just looking at that thinking, this isn't... Yeah, okay. You were basically just saying that. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, there you go. Smell you later, suckers. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it's very intuitive, isn't it? It just, like... It is. Intuitive. It just works as... You want it to. And if you're a big fan of finding vases like I am, plenty of great. Them. Oh my lord. See? Don't ask me again. The whole time. Even when I'd fail, I'd be like, hey, you wanna wanna <laughs> tell us we're great? It's like you might want to like read the room a little better. You could say, like, I'm clearly dying a bunch. You don't want to know what I think right now. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna blow this. Okay, there's a spear. Way. Ah. Okay. Oh, you blew it. I'm just kidding. Okay, good. Okay. Well, if I drop down, that will not be great. So, uh, so spears allow you to hit a target from afar. You just click the enemy that you want to hit. And super boom. smart there. That was real genius. Okay. Oh, actually, that's yep. not bad. I, I didn't see this. I was like, <laughs> what have I done? Yeah, a couple times I got stuck because I didn't see certain areas where I could go. There's like rolling boulders that'll be chasing you too. Ah. Uh, and that's like, you know, they every time you move, it moves. And it's like, oh boy. Mm -hmm. It's doing a really good job of kind of ramping things up because it's. Yeah, and it just keeps going and going and going. There's no end to the ramping. Oh. Until the game's over. God, I love that This sound. might be a speed run. Accidentally? Yeah. So that I could just kill that. I don't want to. Okay. Oh, yeah. I got to kill him with the spear because I can't. I like the logic you're applying here very quickly, too. Wow. As you're finding snake bits. Boom, boom. Kaploey. All right. All right. These suckers. Again, this is when it all falls apart. Hmm. I can't walk by that guy. So I'm going to have to throw it at the beetle. Oh, nope. <laughs> oh, no. 
Yeah, that's that's a fail. Statement. That was. Gotta go. Ugh. Oh, and then it. Squ like grabs oh, me it? too. Mm -mm. All right, try it again, Jeff. All right. I know which one you gotta hit. Because I oh, played yeah. the game. Yeah, my reviews on the site. Uh, gave it an eight out of ten. This is also Had a good time. Android, right? Yes. If you're a weirdo and like Windows me. Phone, I believe too. And, oh, if you're a super weirdo like Kyle's wife. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hmm. Well, I know one snake you could get rid of right now. Yes. All right. And then you get that guy. Then you got this guy. Then you get this guy. Jeez, you're so good. God, this makes me feel good about myself. <laughs> you say those nice things. Uh, just wait for the beat down. Okay. Yeah, in the review, I say it gets frustrating, but it's still fun while it's frustrating, though. You know, it's like you're trying, you're racking your brain trying to figure out these solutions. Dodging a fang. All right, here we go. All right, this one looks like we might be getting into complex territory here. What? Where, I didn't even see where you hit. You ever play well, Where's Waldo? I did. Oh, no, this isn't good. Yeah, this is looking like this might be a, a good one here. This might end with... Us not getting past this. When I say us, I mean me mostly. Uh oh. Oh, good. Hmm. There's no way across. What am I doing here? Okay, so <laughs> I was hoping that it would like, oh, yeah, advance yeah, right, before I yeah. got there. So it's actually their knees <laughs> hmm. chopped off. Thanks for nothing. Saw blade. Okay. So basically, I just want to. Huh. Okay, I see what you're doing. Please tell me what I'm doing. Well, okay, go back. Oh, nope. So you want to get that saw blade locked into that left gold part. Ah. And then you want to send it down the long path. So, yep, go. hit that there. Ah, there we go. And then, yeah, you know what you're doing. And then hit that again. Yep. Now I can just cruise on over yep. my leisure. Kill that guy. Good day. Wow. You have not missed a snake bit. I like it. So then take care of this little nuisance. Mm -hmm. And then jump across <laughs> without any bad guys. <laughs> uh oh. Is that your stomach? Yes. Okay, swipe. I just want to swipe as fast as I can now. And away you go. Ah, oh. Just barely. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it looks really nice. And we'll just take a look at this one and call it a day. Okay. But you can see how it starts to ramp up. Okay, a new enemy type. So these guys, uh, you could kill him from behind. That's what they want to show. Wow. They want to show you you can kill him from behind. Uh-huh. But then you're going to learn that as soon as you jump up on that ledge. Oh, no. They activate. So he will give pursuit. So go up there, and they're teaching you to, you could drop him in a hole. Ah. Clever girl. That being Lara, not that monster. What they, was that what they called the T-Rex clever girl? Was that? It was a Velociraptor, Or a Velociraptor, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Open the door, the kitchen door or whatever. So we could just do this all day. Yeah, you did. And there was times I would just be circling, <laughs> crying in tears. like, Oh, oh this is super smart. Definitely not going to be stuck in this dead end. And we'll end there. <laughs> <laughs> so that is Laura Croft Go from Square Enix Montreal. It's out now on iOS, Android, and I believe Windows Phone. I think it's out on all of them. Did you say what you gave it? Eight out of ten. So you say 
You should give Laura Croft go a go. go. There you go. Yeah. Or a chance. Either way. <laughs> give it a chance. Give it a <laughs> shot. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. One of the coolest uh, mobile games I've played this year. Ah! Uh, thanks, Jeff. You You're did a great welcome. job. I know you want to get all those snake bits. Mm -hmm. Thanks to Wade Wojcik in the control room. And thank you all again for watching. We'll see you next time on Test Chamber.